This is your introduction to Battle Drill 2. Process a contract without the standard procurement system, SPS, and with Wide Area Workflow or WAF. Task Process a contract without SPS and with WAF. Action Create a purchase requisition, purchase order, and manually create an invoice. Conditions Given access to General Fund Enterprise Business System, GFIBS, with required GFIBS roles of purchase requisition processor, purchase order processor, and invoice processor. Standard, create a purchase requisition, purchase order and invoice receipt in GFIBS with 100% accuracy. There are seven transactional activities associated with this battle drill. They are ME51N, create an SPS purchase requisition, ME54N approve and certify a purchase requisition, ME21N create an SPS purchase order, Miro, create an invoice, and F110 to schedule and approve payments to vendor. The SPS Purchase Requisition, PR, in GFIBS is used for contracted purchases. SPS PRs typically include, formal contracting agreements for military construction, supplies, goods, services, and military interdepartmental payments, MIPRs. Typically, the procurement contracting officer identifies a vendor and negotiates a contract. The priori that is created by the purchase requisition processor and the purchase order is created utilizing transaction code ME21N. The purchase order automatically interfaces with WAF to accept or deny the receipt and invoice for contracted goods and services for the Army. In some cases, the WAF interface is not available which means the goods receipt and invoice receipt must be created manually. When this happens, the goods receipt and invoice receipt are manually created by the goods receipt processor and the invoice processor, or side invoice processor. Once the good receipt and invoice receipt are manually created, they are sent via email to the contracting office. This battle drill demonstrates how SPS PRs are created to interface with SPS in order to generate the PO, and how the goods receipt and invoice receipt are viewed.